hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be making a granny square sweater and i got two colors of my choice so pick the colors that you want i will be using a 5.5 mm hook so to start i'm going to make a slip knot And after your slip knot, you're going to chain three. After chain three, you're going to make a slip stitch into the first chain. So insert your hook into the first chain, pull up a loop. Now pull that loop through the other loop. Now we're going to chain three. And we're going to make a double crochet into that hole that we made. So yarn over, insert your hook into that hole, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and pull through two. Now make another double crochet which makes it three double crochets, cluster of three double crochets that is the chain two we made initially and two more double crochets. Now chain two and make another cluster of three double crochets. This is one. and three next chain two another cluster of three double crochets As you can see, I'm trying to weave in my ends as I do my double crochets. Chain two, and the last cluster of three double crochets. In total, you should have four clusters. Now I'm going to make a slip stitch. So I counted two, which was my first chain two. And then the third stitch at the top should be where you do your slip stitch. Then chain one and cut off your yarn. To start the next row, you're going to continue where you stopped, so where you have your loose end. Insert your hook and attach your yarn. Next, I'm going to chain three. Of course, we can make a knot if you wish, if you think it's more secure for you. After my chain three, I'm going to make two more double crochets into that same hole. After my last double crochet, I'm going to chain two and make another cluster of three double crochets into that same hole. This is one, two, and three. 
and three. Without making any change, just go directly into the next hole and make a cluster of three double crochets. One, two, three, then chain two, another cluster of three double crochets into that same hole. Without any chains, go directly into the next hole and make a cluster of three double crochets. Now chain two and another cluster of three double crochets into the same hole. Without any chains, go directly into the next hole and make another cluster of three double crochets. Chain two and the second cluster of three double crochets. Like we did before, I'm going to make a slip stitch at the top. So I counted two, which was my chain two, and the third stitch at the top should be where you do your slip stitch. So I'm not going to cut off my yarn because we're going to go another round with this color. So I'm going to chain three. And now we're going to make two double crochets in the hole just just where you are where we stopped now go directly into the next hole and make a cluster of three double crochets Then chain two, another cluster. Without any chain, go into the next hole. Make three double crochets. Without any chain, go into the next hole. So you can see that where we have chain 2 is the corner and when you get to that corner you make 2 clusters of 3 double crochets. After your second cluster without any chains go directly into the next hole. And now we are at the other corner so make a cluster of three double crochets then your chain two and another cluster without any chains go directly into the next hole Three double crochets. And now you can see that we are at another corner. So go in without any chains, make three double crochets, chain two, 
and another cluster of three double crochets. Just like that. Without any chains, you're going to make your slip stitch at the top. Now I'm going to chain one and cut off my yarn because we're going to change the color now. So just to show you guys the progress so far, this is what your work should look like. We made one row of the first color and two rows for the yellow. For the fourth row, you're going to insert your hook where you stopped the last time. So we're going to continue from there. Attach your yarn, your second color and chain three. And now we'll make two double crochets in that same hole without any chains go directly into the next hole and make three double crochets Without any chains, go into the next hole and make three double crochets. Chain two and make your second cluster of three double crochets. Like I said before, when you get to any corner, you make two clusters of three double crochets go into the next hole without any chains and make three double crochets without any chains go into the next hole without any chains go into the next hole and because it's a corner you make two clusters of three double crochets After your first cluster, chain two, and the second cluster of three double crochets. Go into the next hole without any chains. Without any chains, go into the next corner and make two clusters of three double crochets. And when you're done, no chains, you're just going to do your slip stitch at the top. For the next row, chain 3 as usual. And I believe by now you guys understand the pattern. So this is our progress so far. This is what it looks like. And we have made 4 rows.
So just where you stopped, you're going to place two double crochets. We're going to continue from there without any chains going to the next hole. Without any chain going to the next hole. And when you get to the corner, three double crochets, chain two and another three double crochets. Without any chains, go into the next hole. At the end of the row, make this slip stitch, chain 1 and cut off your yarn. Right now, this is what it looks like, and so far we have six rows. So you're just going to continue until you have 18 rows. Now, this is my work when I have 18 rows. From row 9, if you can notice, I started doing three rows for one color just to make sure that you're following. We can count together, so that is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen so we have eighteen rows When you're done with the front and back panel, now you're going to fold your work and just keep it aside. And now we're going to work on the sleeves. Now I'm going to make the ribbon for the sleeves and I am using a smaller hook. I decided to use a 4.5 mm hook. So I'm going to make my slip knot and chain 10. After chain 10, we are going to make single crochets down this row. So insert your hook and pull up the loop, yarn over and pull through 2. After your last single crochet on that row, you're going to chain one and turn your work. And on the next row, we're going to make a front post single crochet. 
so take your hook into the first um stitch the first hole there now from the back take your hook into the next hole or the next stitch then yarn over you should have two loops on your hook yarn over and pull through two again insert your hook and from the back pop your hook into the next hole pull up your loop yarn over and pull through two As usual when you get to the end of the row chain one and turn your work basically we're going to continue with this pattern until we have nine inches at the end of the row after your last front post single crochet you're going to have one stitch left and in that stitch you make a regular single crochet chain one and turn your work and continue with your front post single crochet as usual so don't forget to make that last regular single crochet at the end of the row so this is what it looks like now and i have around eight and a half inches of course it depends on your size just make sure that the band goes around your wrist so that you don't make it too tight make sure that you have an even number of rows like for me i have 44 rows now i'm going to chain one and cut off my yarn to start the next row insert your hook into the first stitch or the first hole attach your yarn and pull through and make a knot you can make a knot twice if you wish just make sure it's secure insert your hook into that same hole and pull up your loop Then chain two. Now yarn over and make a double crochet into the next hole. So we're going to be making double crochets into every hole on this row. After your last double crochet as usual, chain 2 and turn your work. To start the next row, yarn over and make a double crochet into the first stitch. Then make the second double crochet into that same stitch. So you should have 3 which is the chain 2 and 2 double crochets. Next you skip 2 stitches and on the third stitch you make a cluster of three double crochets so this is one two and three all into one stitch again skip two stitches and on the third stitch make a cluster of three double crochets We're going to continue this until we get to the end of the row. Like I said before, make sure that you have an even number of rows, no matter the size you're making, so that at the end of the row you have three perfect stitches. At the end of the row, you're going to make an increase, so you make the increase in the space between your last double crochet. By saying an increase, I mean that we're going to make three double crochets into that space.
Next, chain two and turn your work. To begin the next row, we are going to make the first stitch into the space of the last double crochet. Not into the big hole, but the space between your last double crochet. Remember that the chain 2 counts as one stitch, so you're only going to make two double crochets plus the chain 2, which makes it three double crochets. And then you go into the big hole and make three double crochets. So from here, you continue the pattern of clusters of three double crochets to the end of the row. At the end of the row, we make another increase. So we are going to make three double crochets in the space of your last double crochet. After that, you chain two and turn your work. To begin the next row, we are going to make an increase in the space of your first double crochet. So you're going to make two double crochets in that space. Then you go into the next big hole and make three double crochets. And you continue with the pattern to the end of the row. Again, at the end of this row, we're going to make an increase. So make three double crochets in the space of your last double crochet. One, two, and the third one. Then chain two and turn your work. To begin the next row, we're going to make another increase. So in, your f in the space of your first double crochet, make two double crochets one and two then you go into the next hole the big hole and continue the pattern as usual At the end of this row, we are going to make another increase. And then chain 2, turn your work, and start the next row with an increase too. So in total, you should have 8 rows, 1 row of regular double crochets and 7 rows of the granny stitch with increases. After my 8 rows of increases, the next rows are going to be without increases. So instead of going into the space of your first double crochet, you go into the big hole directly. As usual, make 2 double crochets at the beginning. And then you continue with three double crochets in each hole. At the end of the row, instead of placing three double crochets, you're going to place one in the space of your last double crochet. Only one double crochet you're going to place there. Then chain two and turn your work. To start in the first big hole, 
he placed two double crochets because the chain two counts as one which makes it three and you continue until the end of the row For this first color in total, I have 15 rows, one row of regular double crochet and the granny stitch for 14 rows. In inches, I have almost 6.5 inches. So now I'm going to attach, I'm going to cut off my yarn and attach the second color. To attach the second color, I'm going to insert my hook into the previous stitch and then I'm going to make a knot. You insert your hook into that same stitch and chain 2. Then turn your work. For this color also we are going to make 14 rows without increases. As I am doing my double crochets, I am going to try to weave in my ends so that I don't have too many ends to weave in at the end. To start as usual, you are going to make 2 double crochets into the first hole and then you continue with 3 double crochets until the end of the row at the end of the row we don't have any increases so you're just going to make one double crochet in the space of your last double crochet then chain two and turn your work continue as usual now my sleeve is done and from the first row it measures 18.5 inches and I have 41 rows and the wideness should be 17 inches just to make it clear these measurements are for a size small so the the length of your sleeve should be your size so you should try it on and see if it fits you so now i'm going to chain one and cut off my yarn remember that you have to make two of these for the right and left sleeve so you can go back and watch for the second sleeve next thing after making both of your sleeves we're going to slip stitch to the left and right and we're going to leave a space in the middle for the neck hole so i'm going to count five clusters and in the hole after my fifth cluster i'm going to place my stitch marker and then i'm going to count five clusters on the back panel too and place my stitch marker there and then you do the same thing on the other end If you're following my measurements and you're making a size small like I am, you should have 8 clusters in the middle. Now I'm going to attach my yarn and make a knot so that we can start the slip stitch. I'm 
I'm going to insert my hook into that same hole where I attached my yarn. Then pull up a loop. Next, go into the second stitch of the front and the back panel. And pull up a loop. Then you pull the first loop through the one behind. That's a slip stitch. Again, insert your hook into the next stitch of your front and back panel. Pull up a loop and pull the front loop through the one behind. So you're going to continue making slip stitches until you reach your stitch marker. When I get to my stitch marker, I'm going to chain one and cut off my yarn. After that, you can go to the other side and attach your yarn, make a knot, and then you can start your slip stitches. You might have to turn your work at a certain angle so that you can make your slip stitches. Here you can see the two slip stitches we did and then the neck hole in the middle. My front and back panel measures 18 inches. It should be the same for you if you're using my measurements. So now I'm going to make another ribbing for the front and the back panel and it should be as long as 18 inches. Like we did for the arm cuffs, you're going to chain 10. The first row will be regular single crochets and then from the second row you're going to do front post single crochets. I'm done with my ribbing and I have 87 rows. I made it 7 rows and it measures 18 inches. So now we're going to slip stitch the ribbing to the front and the back panel. I'm not going to insert my hook into the hole but I'm going to insert it where we made the chain to at the corner. And from there I'm going to attach my yarn and make a knot I'm going to insert my hook where we made the knot into that same stitch and the same on the panel and from there you pull up a loop then go into the next stitch, the next hole if you can see clearly on the ribbing. You go into the next hole of the ribbing and the next stitch of the panel. And you pull up your loop. And pull the first loop through the one behind. Again, go into the next door and the next stitch and make a slip stitch. On the ribbing, I'm going to skip one hole and go into the next, but it would be the next stitch for the panel. Again, I would make two slip stitches. And then skip one hole on the ribbon. One, the first slip stitch. Two, skip. You go into the next one. One, two, and 
always keep on and you're only skipping on the ribbon and not the panel At the end of my slip stitches, I had one more stitch left from my ribbon, so I just made this into the space of my previous stitch. And the next thing is to attach the ribbon for the other panel. So this is what your work should look like after making your slip stitches. And make sure you're doing your slip stitches on the right side. Make sure it's not inside out. The next thing I'm going to do is to attach the sleeves. So I'm going to count 10 on one side and 10 from the other side. And just in the middle, I'm going to place my stitch marker. You can also count the stitches if you prefer than um, counting the clusters. So just get the middle and you're going to attach the middle to um, where we did our slip stitch. Now I'm going to attach my yarn and we're going to make our slip stitch. Before you slip stitch, just make sure that everything is um, aligned. Make sure that you have the same number of stitches from the sleeve and from the panel. And make sure that the number of stitches on this side is the same as the other side. By the other side, I mean the side on the left after where we placed our stitch marker. When I get to this point, I'm also going to make the slip stitches into the chain too. And then I'm going to take off my stitch marker. I'm also going to place a slip stitch where I place the stitch marker and from there just continue your slip stitches until you get to the end. Now I want to slip stitch the arms and I'm going to slip stitch all the way to the body panels. First thing is to attach your yarn and make a knot. Here I use this smaller hook, it's not necessary, I just decided that I wanted my slip stitches tighter. Now insert your hook into the same space you made your knots or the same space you attached your yarn. You can see that I'm using 
the brown yarn to do my slip stitches and this is just for the cuffs so that my slip stitches are not visible so I'm only going to use this brown color for the cuffs and then change to orange and I keep changing until I get to the end When I get to the end, I'm going to chain one and cut off my yarn, then change colors to orange. So I'm going to attach my yarn in the space where we made our um, regular row of double crochets. After my knot, I'm going to insert my hook where I attached my yarn. And pull up a loop. I then go into the next hole, the next big hole, and make a slip stitch. I'm going to be making slip stitches into every hole. I hope you guys can see clearly, but I'm making slip stitches into every like, large hole that you can see. So just when I'm about to get into the yellow color, I'm going to make my last slip stitch, chain one, and cut off my yarn. For the second color, you're going to go into the next hole, not the same hole you, you finished off, the one directly beside and you're going to attach your yarn there. You make a knot, then insert your hook into the same hole that you attached your yarn and pull up a loop, then continue with your slip stitches. Again, just when I'm about to enter into the other color, I'm going to chain one and cut off my yarn there. Like I said, you're going to continue slip stitching until you get to the ribbing of your body panels.
when you're done with this sleeve don't forget that you have to slip stitch the other side to the other sleeve So I'm done with all my slip stitches and now I'm weaving in my ends and um, this is the end product. I hope you guys liked it. See you guys in my next video. Bye.